Hello, I'm Simple Dips, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Oracle VirtualBox and also setting up a Windows 10 image. So, first off, we need to download Oracle VirtualBox. For this, we're going to literally just Google Oracle VirtualBox. Going to go to the main website and download the latest version, which for me is 5.0. Going to choose for me Windows but choose your OS and allow that to download. Once finished downloading uh, just click show in folder and that will open up the location we need to double click this file and click run and then proceed through the install I would recommend leaving it as default click yes install accepts any prompts that come up from Oracle only once finished click start and finish now this is actually going to boot the Oracle environment okay once the VirtualBox console is opened we need to create our virtual machine and to do this on the top left we just need to click new we're going to call this machine Windows 10 test now because I've got the newest version of Oracle Box, it's recognised that I'm running Win that I want to install Windows 10. However, older versions just select Windows 7 or Windows 8, whichever is relevant. Um, but you can also adjust the most important part, which is the uh, the bit. So we're not going to be installing 32 bit today, we're going to be installing 64. Click next. I'm going to give this machine 4 gig of RAM. I'm going to create a virtual hard disk now. VDI is absolutely fine. Dynamic, dynamically allocated that will increase depending on how much storage the operating system needs I'm going to give it 32 gig that looks good I'm going to select where this goes so this is the location that it's going to create that hard drive for the virtual machine I'm going to create that on my documents drive call it Windows 10 test hit save create now we have our virtual machine built but that doesn't mean that's going to load into Windows 10 we need to get the Windows 10 resource files and for that we need to go to a website or a Microsoft website and find the ISO just choose your Windows 10 image 64 bit that will start to download an ISO Could cancel that once it's downloaded save it in a location in which you're aware so for me I have it in my software folder operating systems Windows 10 x 64 and that just means a 64 bit version of Windows 10 then we go back to the Oracle virtual box and we're going to go to the settings then we're going to go to storage and you can see the little disk this is the virtual disk drive of the virtual machine so we had a laptop sitting in front of us this is the disk drive and we're going to point this to the Windows 10 ISO that we have downloaded from Microsoft and click open now we've directly put that CD into the machine so now we can start the PC this shouldn't require any input from yourselves this should boot straight to the CD and at this point it's just a case of waiting for the installation files to load I'm assuming you know how to install Windows 10 from this point onwards However, if you'd like to see how VirtualBox responds to reboots, there is a time lapse at the end of this video. Okay. Now, once in the operating system, there's one final step, and that is to install the guest editions. So we're just going to click that. That will mount the relevant applications inside your VM, and you're going to want to install these to the VirtualBox. And these will just make the experience of using the virtual box and the virtual machine much nicer. There we are. Now the, the virtual machine will need to reboot. However, there will be no 
visible changes to yourself. Thank you very much for watching. You'll find in a moment that the time lapse of the install will begin. Um, I've been Silver Bye bye.